Let me introduce you to the leader of the team for implementing the law's provisions on inspections and compliance. Barbara Cassens is district director in San Francisco. Barbara, what's new? Well, thank you, George. I think I wanted to start saying now that we have our new law on food safety, we want the industry to understand the law and understand the implementing regulations. That's first and foremost. But what's new for us is we now have first ever an inspection frequency mandate. And essentially that's based on risk. So we're being mandated for all high-risk facilities to inspect them once within the first five years of the bill signing and then once every three years thereafter. All other food facilities are to be inspected once within the first seven years of the bill signing and then once every five years thereafter. And will an industry know whether or not they're dealing with a high-risk product? Well, that's an excellent question. You know, um, the law does lay out criteria for considering high risk and also allows FDA to apply their own knowledge and, and criteria based on past experiences, outbreaks, and events. So we have a group that's working on that right now. An industry will be have, uh, able to have a part of that and give some input. Why are these new tools needed in the first place? Well, you know, if you think back um, the last couple of years, outbreaks that have occurred, severe outbreaks um, having to do with peanut butter, um, cookie dough perhaps, look at those, it really has eroded the consumer's confidence in the food supply. And as Congress looked upon FDA's action and reaction to these events, realized we just did not have the tools we needed to enforce and control and contain product that's dangerous to the public. One of the things that the public and everyone else has heard a lot about is mandatory recalls. We now have that authority. Uh, can anyone uh, order a mandatory recall? Well, first, many people are interested in this, and I understand why. And first and foremost, when the bill went into signing, we had the authority right away to mandate a recall. And of course, if conditions arise where we need to use that authority, we will. Um, we take this very, very seriously. And we're looking at it to, you have to realize that really only the commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration or the Secretary for Health and Human Services can mandate that recall and also uh, bait that recall. So we must keep that in mind. Now the industry still has the ability to do a recall on their own and we have those policies and procedures in place right now as we have before. Are there other key provisions when it comes to compliance? Yeah, there are a couple for enforcement activities. Um, administrative detention we were given with the Bio Bioterrorism Act of 2002 and now we have more liberal use of that tool to basically keep the unsafe product from getting into the marketplace. We also will very soon have the ability to suspend a registration. And this tool will not allow product to be distributed from a facility where the registration has been dis, dis, um, suspended. Mm -hmm. And also um, that applies to importing and exporting products from the United States. Inspections are not cheap. Are there fees associated with some of these inspections, some of these enforcement tools? Yeah. Yeah, there are some fees associated. For instance, for a reinspection, when we go out on initial inspection, we find problems we need to return again in short order. There'll be a fee for that. And there's also fees for recall follow-ups in the case that we mandate a recall and there's a need to follow up because an industry hasn't followed through or done the things that was asked by FDA. I think if I owned one of those industries, I'd want to know what they are. Uh, do we know what they are yet? Yeah, we're still working with that. There's a group that's trying to determine what those fees will be and that will be made very transparent. Bottom line on compliance is what? Well, you know, really the bottom line is we want the industry to understand the law and to understand the implementing regulations, and we need them to comply with it. Barbara Kessens, thank you very much. Thank you.